Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper blog. Today, I have a little tip for podcast editing, and that is to use the play rate control in Reaper to actually speed up the process. The bulk of the podcast editing work is often just taking out ums and long pauses and coughs and things like that. You can really easily do that at quarter speed faster or even higher. So I've been doing it at 1.3 play rate. I got a little section of this podcast. I've already done the entire podcast edit, um, but just to demonstrate this, let's go through this at 1x speed. Yeah, we haven't had a mastering maxim for weeks, so let's try and sum it up. Uh, you can't fix a problem you can't hear, so you need speakers that actually reproduce the bass accurately enough that you can make good decisions. This section feels really slow because he's thinking a lot and really summarizing the previous like 40 minutes of the show. In Reaper's transport bar, there is a play rate control. And if you're not seeing that, that is this option here when you right click anywhere in the transport bar. So show play rate control. So I just type in 1.3. And also when I right click this, I turn on preserve pitch in audio items when changing master play rate. That's just so it doesn't sound like chip monkey. It just sounds faster. So we'll play it now. Yeah, we haven't had a mastering maxim for weeks. So let's try and sum it up. Uh, you can't fix a problem you can't hear. So you need speakers that actually reproduce the bass accurately enough that you can make good decisions. All right, so we can get through that a lot faster. And if I'm working in ripple mode, like I normally do, I can go through this pretty quickly. I know that that little dot is something um, that I can move like that. And let's hear the same section. Yeah, we haven't had a mastering maxim for weeks. So let's try and sum it up. You can't fix a problem you can't hear. So you need speakers that... And that's a little bit long there. Speakers that actually reproduce the bass accurately enough that you can make good decisions. You need those speakers to be placed in... The thing is, once you are working away at this, you kind of can tell by eye how long a pause should be. And that's about this much distance. And so this is clearly too much. So I can take about this much, maybe take from here up to here. Those speakers to be placed. In and I'll just delete that and let's hear that. You can make good decisions. You need those speakers to be placed in the room. And then maybe do a little fade in there as well. Need those speakers to be placed in the room. And I'll cut there, and I'll cut there. That allows you to hear those, to hear what they're telling you. And you need to know really well what your favorite, what your favorite reference tracks should sound like on that system in order to get the results that you're looking for. If you've got those things in place, probably it's, probably it's mostly down to EQ after that, just getting the right balance of the bass, the mids, and the highs. But you might want to use techniques like multiband compression or in the mix, side chaining and parallel distortion or dynamic EQ to really grab control of those elements. How did I do? Uh, that's the, the whole technique I want to show you. Just uh, increase your play rate by 1.3 or 1.25 or something like that. Get through like the really quick, obvious edits that you need to make. I've already got this stuff templated, so I know that all the mix processing is right and um, noises gated out all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty much just editing the content, making it a little bit tighter, a little more concise, things like that. When you're done that and you want to listen to it at normal speed, you could double click on the play rate control, um, or you can have a keyboard shortcut set up to reset the play rate. So that's it. Um, potentially, this is saving you 30% of your editing time uh, by just playing it back at a faster rate. After adding this technique to my editing workflow, I found that I can get through the entire edit in one sitting uh, without having to take breaks, without getting super distracted and going to watch videos or anything like that, I can just get through it and just it just seems like a little more faster paced and more interesting. So there you go. Just wanted to pass that tip off to you. That has been something I've been using for the past few months and I find it helpful. So um, hopefully you can find it helpful as well. And that's where I'll leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. You can support the Reaper Blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.